So if you've seen my other videos on the uh, Arduino-based camper van controller, um, this is a this is a kind of follow-on. So just to recap, I've got an Arduino which takes a lot of temperature readings, monitors battery levels, power levels, uh, water level in the water tank, um, and I've got two touch screens, uh, next in touch screens, which uh, are quite easy to sort of work with um, in this form and they display these temperatures and, and sensor readings but i've also got some buttons on those which uh which control a bank of relays on an i2c relay board um so i've got the spreadsheet here but i've documented everything so i've got two sheets here i've got the microprocessor pin assignment uh, and also the next day command map so i'll quickly run through these it gives you a wee idea um reason I used uh, an I2C connected relay board was is eight relays rather than having eight digital pins used up. Um, I can, uh, using the I2C relay bus, we've got two pins, uh, data and clock. Um, and uh, that's great, so that's eight relays. I can also daisy chain boards, so, you know, it's, it's well extensible. Uh, again, and it's just these two wires. Uh, you give each board a different address and each relay has is a different channel on that board. Uh, really, really, really good. Uh, I've done a separate video on the I2C relay board, which I'll uh, tag in at the end. Um, uh, so yeah, two pins, great. Uh, we've got another two pins here. These are both serial transmit and receive for serial one. This goes to one of the touch screens, the one in the um, bunkhouse, and this one goes to the one in the cab at the front. So uh, we're actually, if you've watched the video on the main sketch for this and the main code, uh, we're running three instances of serial uh, serial for the serial monitor for debugging onto the laptop, serial one for the um, touchscreen or HMI human interface device in the bunkhouse, and serial two for in the cab. Got a load of analog pins doing battery monitoring, liquid level sensors. That's a pretty cool thing. Done a separate video on that. Um, that is a DF robot. Uh, and the taking a resistance reading from the LPG sender unit. Um, onto the digital pins, 433 MHz transmitter. Uh, that's for the future. Um, we've got the one wire bus for the, the waterproof probes, the 18B20 probes, and three digital pins, one each for the DHT22s. I could have put one of them on one pin, but you know, by that point, <laughs> kind of lost the will to live. So on to the next sheet here, um, this is the next day in command mapping. So what I've got here is I've got uh, two pages um, on the uh, uh, on the next day in display. This is for the one in the bunkhouse, um, page zero and page one. On these pages, and I'll do a separate video on this, there's different elements and those can be uh, buttons, um, hotspots, or text boxes. So all these M numbers here, these are hotspots. I've created my own sort of buttons with text, so I've not used next day in buttons. Um, but so these are, uh, if you look in the next day in editor, these are the actual numbers of those. Um, what they're doing, what they're sending, how it's reacting, and what it's actually switching. So as I've gone over before, I've not loaded up the next day in library in the Arduino. Uh, because, you know, for, for what I'm doing, uh, sending and receiving uh, single digits and little bits of text through serial is good enough. Uh, I'm not doing any processing at all uh, or any codes really on the, uh, sorry, on the um, next in. Um, it's all handled by the Arduino. So, for example, when I press, uh, here we go, here's the main light in the van, M4, element M4. Uh, when I press that, uh, that's just a hotspot which sends the character lowercase d to the Arduino. The Arduino is listening for it. And the Arduino code handles the toggle and it toggles uh, relay four on the I2C relay board. Uh, the temperature displays on the touch screens, uh, on the next ends. These are just text boxes. Um, I've got a bit of a, a naming convention there. so. Uh, but these are the element numbers for those, and all I'm doing is the Arduino is printing, doing a serial print to element T1 
and updating the text in it. Uh, so there, there we go. There's the um, there's the reading from the temperature reading from the DH22 sensor DHT1, which is in the code, and there's the humidity from it, and so on and so forth. So that's that's what that is uh, kind of all about. Um, and then here's the sort of second page here where we're pulling um, uh, pulling water levels and stuff like that, and uh, uh, looking at some more uh, just reading sensors really. So it's all uh, it's all fair enough. Um, and here 